Hi everyone, welcome to this new web series and episode of Jazzy Joe Meets India's Mix Masters. The web series where I talk to the leading top DJs in India. In every episode, we feature one leading Indian DJ and we ask him a few questions about his career, his life and his views about music and clubs in India. I hope you will all enjoy and support my humble effort in talking to India's Mix Masters. This time I am talking with another one of India's greatest and premier DJs. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy and proud to present one of India's premier mix masters and my dear friend Akhtar Fazel. DJ Akhtar, a nightclub consultant and professional disc jockey, is among the very few DJs in India who started the club culture scene and is still doing it successfully since almost three decades now. He is also one of the pioneers of mainstream commercial dance music in India, who also manages bands, artists, local and international DJs in India, Dubai, Bangkok, Spain, US, Moscow and a few other countries. From conceptualizing events to executing corporate functions, sound and lighting installation for bars, lounges and clubs, programming of DJs and artists on a monthly calendar basis, DJ Akta has his hands full and is always ready for challenging opportunities. Yes, guys, here he is, the one and only rock star, India's mix master, supreme, and my dear friend, DJ Akhtar. Hi, Akhtar. Hi, Jazzy. What's up, Mary Jan? How are you, darling? I'm fine, brother. I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to your show. Okay, Akhtar. Tell me, first of all, tell me your first club, your first experience as a DJ. How was it? Uh, so this is, uh, I think my first nightclub was in Mumbai. Uh, there's a nightclub called RG's. Oh, yes, yes. 88 or so, something like that. I can't even remember. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, you, you've taken care of so many clubs. Uh, I don't know if you remember all of them. Uh, <laughs> do you remember some of them? RG is 1900 tha, Sellers tha, phir, uh, yeah. Go Bananas Rock Around the Clock baad mein aaya, uh, yeah. Studio 29 tha. I remember all those places. Ah. <laughs> what great times and what great memories of those clubs. Fantastic. But, but the club that everybody remembers you by is 1900s. Yes. So how was your 1900s experience of so many years and you've seen nearly uh, the whole party circuit of Mumbai and India dancing there uh, at that time. How was that experience for you? Joe, so basically when I came into this profession, I was still in my 10th standard. I took it up. Oh, wow. I took it up for, uh, you know, earning money, supporting myself, paying my college fees. Uh, you know, things like that, giving the money okay. to my mom, because we come from a very uh, humble background. So, okay. uh, Taj taught me a lot, because it was in okay. a five hotel. I was there, yeah. resident DJ, for 16 years in a row, out of which I think yeah. five to seven years, I played every single night alone, and there was yeah. no, and there used to be no holidays. It was seven days a week. So got to learn a lot as a resident DJ. Uh, I was very naive. I was very young, so I didn't know anything. I used okay. to join the stars, who, and that was a membership club. So there was like a Mr. Bachchan coming there to a Mr. Malia, to Singanya, to the socialites, to the industrialists, everybody. There was only one, I think two five-star hotels, the Oberoi's okay. and the Taj. There was no other five-star hotel. So if any dignity, uh, 
industrialist, socialite, actor, Hollywood actor, anyone would come to Bombay. They would yeah. prefer to stay at the Taj rather than the Oberoi's because the Taj was a heritage property. And Shaam mein karenge kya? So they had to come to the nightclub. Ke chalo, let's visit the nightclub. So I got yeah. to faces. I got to make a lot of connections over there. There were no DJs. Yeah. In the so if any of these affluent people wanted to invite somebody for their private party, they had to get hold of me only. And that's how I made. <laughs> okay, Akhtar. Everybody knows you today as a Bollywood DJ. But what is your favorite genre? Is it Bollywood? The first. Twenty years of my life, probably, we, okay. I didn't play any uh, of DJ. I didn't play any Bollywood, as you know. Nineteen hundreds, there was no Bollywood allowed as a policy. It was okay. only British commercial music, dance music, uh, international club anthems, you know, world music, that kind of thing. You know, so we didn't have that. This Bollywood tag yeah. came uh, when I started freelancing. When the trend okay. came in, because in the private parties, suddenly. uh the the bollywood thing burst out everybody uh, loved it in the private parties yes. i said chalo main bhi bajata hu so i became a multiple genre dj whereas in the night clubs i would i would play commercial music dance music uh, even reggae reggaeton mumbathon everything hip hop r&b uh, we used yeah. to do r&b sets at that time at that time if you remember we used to start our night from 90 ppm and then slowly gradually take it on yes, yes. 110 110 115 118 yes 5 you know finally at the peak you know and then yes. the last would be the cool down station where you used to have yes the yes the love songs the yeah. slow songs now it's different now it's just bang bang start to end so <laughs> i think uh, when i uh, left 1900s after my 16 years stint and i joined the jw marriott hotel i was a resident dj at their famous nightclub back then called enigma So I was a resident DJ there also for for yeah. six years, and there again the hardcore filmy connection and Bollywood, you know, mainstream music happened from there. Uh, you do not only mix music, you know. With you, uh, it is not a uh, a technical uh, DJ mixing. We see that you you give a performance. You know, you you are very active on the mic. You know, you are moving. You are grooving. of course the mixing is there but but there are so many other elements which which make it a performance so what do you feel about that do you think uh, being on the mic is a necessity if i manage okay. 90% of the people dance and they are happy i am happy so i focused less on mixing and more on the performance more on what i'm churning out more on the timing of each tune when am i playing that tune uh, catering to requests everything and in the middle not make it boring not look down and play music but interacting with the audience looking yeah. at understanding what they like what they don't like so yeah. from the first day till today i am very yeah. unpredictable even i don't know what i'm playing next i have okay. never <laughs> prepared any set ever in my life even for a new year's eve if i have to play for 10000 people there is zero preparation involved there okay. is getting music acha ye teen gana naya hai dal do isko bhi file mein that's yeah. it but uh, yeah. if i'm in the middle of a session and you are going to tell me what you are going to play next so even yeah. i don't know what i'm playing next so very true and that's a very true is uh, works for me very well people enjoy it because i'm yeah. party and performing simultaneously with the crowd which makes yeah. it an enjoyable experience so maybe i may not focus on mixing two tracks maybe i'm going to play one track and then i feel that the next track the bpms are not matching i'll announce something and cut it but the flow will be super people will yeah. love it you will see your yeah. frenzy you will hear crowd going yeah you know that way so for me that is more important than the technical aspect of being a dj of course the basics and the foundations are super important which i've been through in the earlier stages of my life in the earlier phase of my life uh, we yeah. all been that we used to do perfect cutting and perfect bar mixing and you know yeah. uh, do all that and sometimes i do it and what about production uh, do you think every dj should produce music or remixes 
or do you think that is enough to uh, entertain the crowd uh, does a dj have to be a producer or can he can he be an entertainer and maybe not a producer or or both that's that's a matter of individual choice okay. i'm i'm totally uh, you know uh, a performer i need a stage and the more the people the more happy i am you know it is like that so you put me yeah. in uh, a crowd of 10000 people 20000 i am the most happy and most comfortable it's home for me so but it depends uh, as a matter of opinion uh, yeah. nowadays the competition is fierce so people who are dj's i've seen them producing track after track and uh, uh, belting it out they they're trying to reach somewhere with that that track gets them somewhere on some chart on some platform on some uh, uh, you know gets them more awareness more likes more followers and i totally respect that but i'm uh, i tried it you know during my times music days and uh, it, it didn't work out that well for me because i don't have the okay. patience to sit for 8 10 hours in the studio okay. you know and in those days i remember i used to sit, sit in the studio and i made my album my time music album it took me almost jazzy 4 to 6 months to make it and i was sitting oh. here 8 8 to 10 hours imagine for seven songs to sit that long you know <laughs> it's sitting over there we are doing something or the other i'm shifting all the tracks i'm shifting it from here to there well and then i thought boss this is not for me mera peet dukh raha hai my back is paining so i really admire the people who do this it's really great i wish them all the best but right now i think practically like i told you you know yeah i don't focus so much on that mixing and all i focus more on the entertainment part in the same i'm not focusing much on the uh, uh, production because each song has maybe one or two dozen remixes already out why should Very i true. the 23rd guy with the 23rd mix of the same <laughs> rather i choose from the 22 songs mixes and choose which is and play that you know yeah so i prefer that uh so uh, which would be your favorite countries to perform in i i i love performing in the us uh and in in uh, uh also in the far east somewhere in uh, in, uh probably in in bali i performed okay. there for weddings the destination weddings are the best then also uh, the south of spain the gran canaria las palmas uh, tenerife sur all these places are beautiful i mean the locations itself make you happy whenever i look at you i remember a song by alpha will forever young so what is the secret of looking forever young <laughs> godrej ka hair dye <laughs> <laughs> हम लोग ये सब डाई वाई लगा के रोज काम पे जाते हैं यू नो और इधर हम लोग क्या लगाते हैं इधर फेयर एंड लवली आई थिंक आई थिंक इट्स द म्यूजिक व्हिच कीप्स अस यंग एंड द क्राउड द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द क्राउड हां द एनर्जी फ्रॉम द क्राउड ऑलवेज व्हाट अबाउट द फ्यूचर अक्टर व्हाट डू यू व्हाट डू यू वांट टू डू नाउ यू हैव डन सो मेनी थिंग्स व्हाट व्हाट डू यू वांट टू डू नाउ डू यू वांट टू डू टेलीविजन डू यू वांट टू डू रेडियो do you want to do production again do you want to try making some music uh, what is the future for dj akhtar i think my biggest priority i want to learn how to cook because these lockdown <laughs> i need to know how to cook that is my topmost priority so that at least okay. i can stop ordering from swiggy and uh, start eating healthy okay probably reinvent myself a little bit see the okay. trends in the market see what my other colleagues other dj's are doing i am inspired by all of you you know each and every dj who's on our whatsapp group uh, who's yeah. not there also uh, people whom we know who i know who i don't know my team members who work for me i am inspired by all of them i take little bit from everyone wherever i go and perform also whether it's a big uh, metro city or it's a small rural uh, area i learned from yeah. that a little bit and then develop a kind of my own thing and upgrade myself so it's very important that you keep doing something new so my thing about my future is always reinvent yourself keep 
you know uh, uh, getting better at what you do think about what mistakes you're making and where try and uh, rectify them try and correct them and i think that's 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 what i'm going to focus on definitely not looking at uh, product music production because uh, honestly i'm not so good at it and uh, i feel there are too many people in that already uh, recently you met uh, a few politicians uh, you've been talking to uh, company heads about copyrights you know about the issues which uh, dj's are facing today especially after the situation that is there around the world uh, to to perform online uh, so what what are your views on that you know uh, so, do you think the companies the industry the dj's do you think we should all come together and formulate some way where we could do the copyright thing and we could perform i think the need of the hour is to get united to come together for okay achieve anything our strength has to be in a unity unfortunately you know we are dj's from so many years and decades but we do not have an organization uniting all of us in india there are lakhs yeah. of dj's but we do not have one single organization like how yeah. when people have a organization the singers and songwriters have the we unfortunately do not have a representing body and that's why we are unheard that's why there are no subsidies for us that's why there is uh, uh, nothing uh, you know really coming in our favor i have been continuously striving and uh, uh, trying my best even last year my whole uh, thing was uh, to visit all the music companies personally during the lockdown and explain yeah. to the importance of us dj's and artists who are uh, playing music of their company and and same way i realized there are dj's from the houses performing uh, live you know but they're doing it only yes. to entertain their friends our families you know different people they're doing it from the houses they're not doing it for any kind of monetary gain so my yes. fight last year was against all these copyright guys against all these guys to let us allow us to stream uh, yes. we are actually promoting your music we are we are the ambassadors for all your songs very true i agree we should definitely be allowed. in fact you should pay us to play your music yeah that's, and that's how it is abroad but uh, uh, some of the music companies are after because you are dj after you can go ahead and do it but the whole yeah. point i didn't want anything for myself it was yeah. for i give it to the whole of india all the dj's or i don't want yeah. any we yeah. managed to get uh, the the talks didn't go in vain we managed yeah. to get a stay order on the one of the uh, licensing bodies who allowed okay. him live there on you know uh, certain yeah. permissible uh, along with the warning in your post yeah i recently went uh, uh, to meet couple of politicians uh, just a few weeks before the lockdown and this yeah. was Uh, pertaining to a different reason this was pertaining uh, mainly for us dj's across the country to give us an opportunity to earn a living this was basically to curb down the night curfew yes. so when the lockdown is over immediately they may impose a night curfew so for us we are the last people always you know getting back on our feet so yes. my request to them that please do not have a night curfew because it doesn't make sense that you packing up all the local trains and all in the day with lakhs of people the markets are open with lakhs of people and in the night you decide to do a curfew so how will we yeah. de- how will we artists earn a living you curb down you make the laws of night clubs and night club owners very strict you demark these tables and all and say only x amount of people are allowed in your night club and be very strict with them you know but that at least will give us an opening an opportunity to earn a living so that i had gone for that reason i wish you more power i wish you all the power for for this that uh, you know i hope uh, we can work these things out and uh, but before we go i would like you to give a message to all the people who are inspired by you like me all the young teachers can you give us a message of of what 
uh, what to do when you want to be a great dj like dj akhtar <laughs> firstly i am inspired by you jazzy we all are over the years relentlessly the things that you do uh, i i remember right from mix masters your first event where you had invited me to delhi we had yes. such a wonderful time not only me but we had so many of the top djs of the country uh, yes. coming to your uh, festival and performing at the taj and you hosted us so well you know those few couple of <laughs> that we were there so we all look up to you and uh, you doing this work relentlessly you uh, you know this passion which has brought you in the guinness book of records as well of collecting and getting these autographed uh, vinyls it's a very rare not yet not yet it will happen i'm in the limca book i'm in the limca book guinness yet to come <laughs> eventually it has to happen uh i'm uh, grateful to all the dj's uh my colleagues and the, even the aspiring dj's uh, who i have never met i'm grateful for all their love and respect something which i uh really am proud that i achieved in these last 30 years is not the awards yeah. and the accolades uh, accolades and the rewards yeah. that, but i'm most happy about you know the love and respect that i got from all these dj's from all these artists from throughout the country i feel personally like i'm the most loved dj and you yes, know you <laughs> and i it's a great feeling it is the biggest reward for me my message to all of them is that boss if i can do it then you can do 10 times better than me it is like that because i don't consider myself that i've done anything great or done something big or something i worked hard i was honest to my work i respected my work and i respected everybody at work plus respect is something the more you give the more you get so respect all the dj's it does not matter whether he is a month old whether he is 20 years in the profession or 30 years the more respect you give the more respect you gain and uh, nothing can stop focus dedication hard work uh, nothing can stop uh, you know if your heart is clean then nothing can stop you you can always you're always going to uh, achieve whatever you strive for very true very true very inspiring words wow what great words to end the program with are it's my thank pleasure you. thank you so much for taking out time akhtar thank you so much yes. i know you're a busy guy i know there are so many women waiting to talk to you but uh, <laughs> thank you so much for taking out time brother yes. and uh, more power to you wishing you all the best take care thank take you take care akhtar bye bye take care and now we come to the end of this episode featuring indian mix master akhtar fazel and his insights into his life and love for music do tune into our next episode which will once again feature another mix master who has been rocking india i hope all of you enjoyed this episode and if you did please subscribe to this channel and like and share this video so that others can appreciate these great mix masters too you can also send any questions suggestions or feedback to this email jazzyvinyl at yahoo.com for all music lovers and dj's watching enjoy and get inspired till next time have fun and join the mix masters who will rock you for ever more Here we go. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.